where you find out just how hard making freshly squeezed cocktails with orange juice can really be. Just ask that guy. Sticky fingers. Want to skip ads without hurting my inner child? Head over to patreon.com slash cmc and help fund the show. Welcome to Comment Cocktails. I am your host, Eric Charter. No ribs. I've got, no, I'm full like this. I've got <laughs> Ian and Curd, and we're going to make the Harvey Wallbanger. Easy. Yes. Oh. The, 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 the history is more complicated than the drink. Who doesn't so, love a Harvey Wallbanger? Huh? Who doesn't love a Harvey Wallbanger? Uh, I don't know. Most Harvey? people that haven't had Harvey Wallbangers probably yeah. look like them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's, think of a screwdriver. With a twist. A little, a little honey a, twist. A little Galliano on the top. So it's going to be an out. It's that one bottle that everybody sees but has no idea what the hell it's right. for. Oh, that tastes like banana, right? <laughs> yeah, you think. Yeah. Um, so the Harvey Wallbanger, the recipe I was going to use for was from Dale DeGrasse's book, but I, I reverted back and I chose the recipe that I got from um, a, a screen grab on uh, when I was at Tails. It was the history of the Harvey Wallbanger. No. It was actually. So one ounce? What, what is it? It's one ounce, yeah. Okay. It was history of the Harvey Wallbanger, Sazerac, and there was another drink in there. I can't remember what it was. And they put on the on the board kind of the, the historic recipe proportions. You just snapped it? Yeah, on the camera. And then I, I adjusted. I, I forgot I did that, and I was yeah. making it. I'm like, wait a minute, I have this. So I, I readjusted. So it's one ounce of vodka, six ounces of orange juice, float a uh, half ounce of Galliano on the top of a highball. That's a good idea. Nice job, Jim. Did you already put vodka in there? Yes, that was vodka that you oh, just yeah. spilled. I'll have a highball, and it's on my hands, and then you're good. So, this cocktail technically, okay, people think it's created in the 1970s. Yeah. Right? Because there was very little good things in the 1970s for cocktails. But! Well, this is really the only thing, good thing to come out of the 70s. Donato, Duke Adams. We're going to need all these orders. Not a really, really? Yeah. They're not very strong. They're not very juicy. So one ounce um, for half. He invented, so he created this drink, but it wasn't really at that time called the Harvey Wallbanger. But he did also apparently invent the Rusty Nail and the White Russian and the Freddy Fudpucker. Did they That's say what bar he was working at? Yes. It was the Burns something. Uh, the, the, I don't remember. Something in New York, I'm guessing. Uh, I think it was Hartford. But it really? Be, he's from Hartford. Yeah. Huh, Connecticut. Uh, yeah. Go figure. So, um, and there's, so when I was listening to the history at Tales, they basically went through kind of like where he lived and they, they were like, oh, he came from here, he came from here. There's like seven places he lived with at the same time until you actually go through the documentation. They find out, no, it was really in Hartford for this period of time and here. And he kind of built this drink early in the bar and then he met apparently uh, a marketing director for McKesson Imports. Yep. And that marketing director was like, wait a minute, I sell this product and I need to sell more of it and you have this really cool drink. I think we can do something with this. They rebranded it as a Harvey Wallbanger, and then they created a story that kind of worked around the name. Um, and, and the way they did it is they said the surfer Harvey would go and he would order screwdrivers with a spike of Galliano on it, and then he'd be leaving the bar and he would be banging into the wall. So they like, so they decided to dub it the Harvey Wallbanger. None of that story could be justified. There was no surfer. There was no guy named Harvey. There's no documented proof, no birth certificates, nothing really besides the fact that the marketing director at McKesson Imports made a story that made it... I heard a completely different story than that. There's been at least three different stories. The one I got was that they... Can I have some ice? There was a guy named Harvey that... Yeah. That would go to this bar and... The the name of the girl that worked in the bar. Yep. It was um. <laughs> uh, she had a weird name. It wasn't like it wasn't. It was like a man's name. It was like Wallace or something like that. Yeah. But he would end up. All the guys would make fun of the fact that he would go home with her all the time, and that, that was his Banger. drink, Harvey Wallbanger. You should have double strained those. Yeah, it's alright. Little season there. Hold on, we're not done. That's enough ice because I think he's still cutting. How much yeah. more? We need six ounces. That's only four in there. So. And we still have to have room for the gallon. How did you? How did you? Get how are we getting so such little... shitty oranges? I don't know, man. They're not ripe. Yeah. They're not Florida. No, they're not Florida Ooh. oranges. Was... Only the best of Florida has. Right. I thought Ian would be done this drink before I could get through that history. I thought so too. I mean, fuck. Uh, <laughs> You got all these orange skins over there. All these oranges. You just got like a massive <laughs> serious <laughs> drink, man. Here, yummy, this I'll... is like that scene in Scarface, but just a healthy version. <laughs> you need to, uh, you weren't getting the arm work out there. Thank know? God I'm not the one doing this. Because he has really crappy arms. I would do this ahead of time. Yeah. I was gonna... Well, I like how you through. squeeze a little extra just to. Yeah, you need to get all of it. That's this is six the, ounces out of three oranges. <laughs> that is the six ounces. Six ounces out of three oranges. Sometimes you can get like just three ounces top, out of one. Top it to the bottom. Don't even worry about measuring it. It's not worth it. 
It's top of the line. You don't understand. It's always worth it. No, it's not. Harvey Wallbanger. Ta so that, my friends, is a Harvey Wallbanger. We're going to bang the wall with <laughs> this a, one. That would be amazing if you went into a bar and some guy's like, I garnish with knives. <laughs> <laughs> Just like throw a knife in there. <laughs> you could use it as a stir. Drink. <laughs> you could uh, take the knife home with you as a souvenir. You can use it to stab somebody. Oh. Is that new? That'd be a really dangerous bar if you actually this, is, this was you back in the day? Uh, I did not know that. I didn't either. What's that? So no, it says that uh, WG does it now. Grant? Huh. Yeah, Party Harlan. Well, so you guys might, are marveling over that. That's going to be new. No, no, this is an old bar. This is like, like five, really old. Six, yeah. seven, eight, nine year old bar. Yeah, because I don't, I don't think we... No, we sold that for no regard. All right, juice. so I just have an old one. Yeah, that's... So I didn't want it... This is going to be right in your grill, dude. Don't get in your grill. Uh, fresh orange juice is, is I think, the real key component to this. If you go to a restaurant, you're probably not going to get that, but you should. So do you want to hear a kind of cool story with Galliano? Uh -huh. Okay, so... Nope. Galliano <laughs> drink. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> nope. That's um, two things. When Galliano first came up with this bottle, they were looking for something that stood out against all the other well, bottles. There you go. But it is also so thick and sturdy and that... It, it Yeah, well, that's where this comes in. That... In Italy, they were having problems with um, thieves coming in and, and sticking them up because they have a lot of crime. So they built this bottle as the deterrent because it wouldn't be like having a gun or something like that. They could pull out the bottle and just whip somebody with it. you really hurt somebody if you hit them with a Galliano bottle. But over a period of time, of uh, the Italians immigrating into different countries, they came to a conclusion that is a, um, it's, it's bad luck to open a bar and not have a Galliano bottle. Okay. That's a great marketing scheme. So, so we have to we have to remember that, Ian. Yes. Yeah, we'll remember that when we open a bar. That's a. Have that's you ever been to a bar and not seen that sitting on the shelf though? Never. <laughs> hmm. oh. Everywhere you go, even I think yeah. the Blue Moon had one. Mm -hmm. Hey, they sponsored one of our things. The Blue Moon did? No. The Tastes like a bar. Sponsored one of our things at Tails. Oh, 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 I'm like, I've never had Galliano as a sponsor. I think I remember that. Oh, no, no. Um, yeah. Tastes yeah. like a banger. Dude. It, mm. You know what it does? It's a the, banger. The Harvey wall banger removes the the Harsh stigma of, of just drinking vodka and orange juice. Like, it, that's it, so it boring. Makes, it makes screwdrivers cool. Yes. It's no. like, hey, you can now do something that you're not. What are you drinking? If you, anybody oh, ever drink screwdrivers, What's in you're that? either a drunk yeah. or a college oh, kid. Good. Or a high school kid. <laughs> or a high school <laughs> kid. Har but if you say, I'm, I'm having Harvey wall bangers, people are going to be like, what? So... The other thing that these guys try to do is displace the Bloody Mary by saying, look, this is a breakfast drink. Okay. This is something you should have. I, and trust me, I would have hundreds of these over a Bloody Mary. Yeah. I'm not into savory drinks. Or a mimosa drinks. for that matter. Yeah. Unless yeah, you, you, you did get a Bloody Mary type drink, though, in New Orleans. You did. Yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> did I ever tell you that? No, I haven't heard that. Oh, well, you I can tell heard. offline, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I forgot. The, I forgot. Oh, frick. I still haven't announced my winners. Hold on. It's over there on a pink card. He has winners? No. Joe, so, we'll be right back. As uh, it's a very small winners. I'm going to keep forgetting. You have very small winners? Yes. No. <laughs> um, so fun. we had a popularity <laughs> contest about a month and some change, so I let it brew for a while. I turned 30 to do a snapshot in the end of all the people who submitted for the popularity contest. So we had the winner. Of course. I'll hear the recipe names. We'll start with that. The winner. Ruby Sour, we have the Drunken Child, the White Lightning Iced Tea, the Flaming Lamborghini, the Surfer on Acid, Bahama Mama, and the Wet Pussy. Those are the ones that... Those are all the submissions. All the submissions. Okay. The winner. So, coming in in third... Oh, there we go. It's the Surfer on Acid. Yeah. That was a good drink. I remember that one. It was Surfer a, on Acid is a shot, classic right? drink. A lot okay. of people requested. Was that a shot? It was... Coming no, in, I made it as right Coming in one. second. The Bahama Mama! Bahama Mama! That was a really yeah. good an old classic that we had done on the show. And then number one... Of course. The Wet Pussy. So, <laughs> he loves which saying I think it. was actually a good drink. It, here's the thing. Drink. It was a valid drink. Was it, it, was it uh, refreshing? I don't remember. Was it a refreshing it pussy? It was pink. It was pink. Yeah. Um, the, Why do you so, have to take it there, Kurt? <laughs> here's, and here's the thing. So the, number six, or not, the, the, the one that came in the lowest, uh, they're all good, but was the Ruby Sour, then a Drunken Toddler, White Lightning Icy, Flaming Lamborghini, Surfer on Acid. Flaming Lamborghini Drunken was Toddler, nice. though, had a blow pop as the garnet. I know, it awesome. used a juice box for <laughs> yeah, it's it's a juice. juice. And the Flaming Lamborghini I mean, was they all interesting, did... 
It was like a, right. a drink that you drink while it's on fire. Yeah, and yeah you this pour is scary. So you use the juice box for the toddler, like you yeah. put it back into no, the juice squeeze box. Squeeze the juice box it into the as it's it, ju as juice. juice in the cocktail. Oh. As the juice box. So <laughs> the more you could get back into the juice box. <laughs> the, the the ruby sour had uh, 1,500 views, 7,000 minutes watched. Uh, the flaming Lamborghini had 1,898 views. The surfer on acid had 1,900 views. The drunken toddler had 1,600 views. Uh, the, the wet pussy had 3,874. <laughs> the Bahama Mama came in, you know, with 2,100. Uh, so the wet pussy was basically double what? the second place. The white lightning had 18. Probably because people found so it. So if we pretty much right. just name anything in the show, like something like NC-17. So that's kind of where I wanted to take that. I would say, you know, the, I, I, there's going to be a question here. But th when I looked at how it broke down, the Ruby Sour used Vanique. So I marketed it against the words Vanique. Vanique's popular, we get a lot of views on Vanique. So it didn't do too bad considering it had 1,500 views and it's an unknown drink, never existed before. Yeah. So maybe what you need to do is start taking the main ingredient and listing the brand before I, I, I you just, list the but drink. But the brand has to be desirable to search for. That's the trick. You can't just do Smirnoff. Cause yeah, but like, okay, so we just made that, um, that tiki drink. Oh, well, let's just, we're still on this. So let's just talk about this. Yeah, so Galliano. So Galliano, right. Galliano um, it would be Harvey Wallbanger. The Harvey Wallbanger with Galliano. Right, yeah. in the name. Yep. But people aren't like raging over Galliano. They are about Vanique because they don't know what the frick it is. Although people might... Right. Yeah, but you could be like, oh, oh yeah, what I'm at my grandma's house. I found a bottle of Galliano. What can I do with this? Right. You type in Galliano. Well, if you type that into the search, it'll all come back. Everything yeah. I've ever done. I don't know. Um, so, the, but the, the thing is, it's like obviously the, the number one winner, and it was kind of gaining the system. You're using a name that's obviously something he would search for anyway, right? Yeah. Um, but it's on YouTube, so why are they looking on YouTube for that? Because that's the wrong market. No, you can find it on there. They have, they but have you can probably find it places, other places yeah, more like yeah, a lot yeah. easier. But <laughs> yeah, it can true. come up as a referral video. Porn porn yeah. Right, porn. so porn there's, porn there's porn plenty porn of porn sites. Um, uh, and these views will still get... These these aren't the total views. That has more than 3,000 now. It's got like 6,000, but this is just in the 30 day. <laughs> That's in the like window. Like snapshot in the window. 6,000 views. All right, so I did it by oh. the window. The Bahama Mom is a classic name drink. People look for it, so that makes sense. Now, you, sure, you have again. broken up by... How, what about minutes-wise? That was a minute's watch. Uh, they didn't. There, it depends on the length of the video. <laughs> you know, so uh, yeah, you might yeah, watch yeah. more of it. So you could normalize it by like but, views over. But the length of the video, the Bahama the Mama, has more views watched than. Oh no, the web post has seventeen thousand minutes watched. Well, you could normalize that over. Yes, minutes but watched that, over see, people the find right. the video, and it's clearly not. Even if they were searching for something that why would they wasn't keep that, right? Why would they keep watching? So they they had to watch. They they, they continue to watch. But well, I mean, just coming up, the video was clearly not. Right. Maybe it was good that oh. they then watched. It could be a really bad intro to a porn movie. Well, like no, that. maybe. Oh, look, I, I'm guessing we're, that they we're just all out of vodka. In. We should call up our vodka rep. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hi, Brandy. Oh. Thanks for coming so quick. Thanks for delivering our vodka. <laughs> I, well, I think the rule is that the, so quick. you have yeah. three different tiers. You have those that the, the, the highest demand are the names that are probably scandalous. The second are the names of most popular cocktails: Surfer and Acid, Bahama Mama, and then Flaming Lamborghini is another one. Yeah. White Lightning Iced Tea it has iced tea that might give it some some. Legitimacy. White Lightning has right. popularity because the other ones shine. didn't do so badly, but it comes down to the name. The name makes more difference. You guys just have to watch all my videos. It doesn't matter what the name is. Don't, don't, that's yeah. bullshit. Don't judge on the anyway. name. Don't judge. Maybe we should, maybe we should, maybe we so the question of the day is how, how important is the cocktail's name to you to watching a Common Man Cocktails video? What makes you click on it when you see it in your subscriptions? Order? Or even to order. Order. Or to yeah. order it. Which one would you order? Because what is the name? Because we go to Chinese restaurants and I have no idea what's oh, in the drink and I look at it. Oh, name. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, right. and it's like, oh, that sounds cool, and right. it's actually not. That's how I base my tiki drink order. Yeah. <laughs> And the flower. And you got a flower that numbs your mouth. Or you just use the uh, big wheel, so. Yeah. Yes, the big wheel is cool. And and just to make sure we've covered Maybe this, dog. I mean, right before we leave, people are going to say, you never saw what it tastes like. It tastes like a, sweet or a sweeter orange juice, a little bit of herbal flavor, no vodka taste. No, none. That, no. That fresh squeezed orange juice makes all the difference in the world. Right. And the fact that it's not a half and a half drink, it's six ounces of orange juice to one ounce of vodka. Right. It's very tame. Yep. Tame, easy to drink, it'll get you drunk in a, in a slow minute. Welcome to the end. We're teaching you how to drink! Skipper's death mix, remember to leave me some room. Oh, it's gonna be good. We're gonna add some juice to this. Add some juice. 